What's up, Glassy Gang? It's Glassy, and we're back with another Grand Theft Auto video because uh, I got a little bit of a request. Someone was asking, how do I have so much money in my account, uh, especially all this money just laying around my office? Well, this video is going to go a little bit in depth to tell you what is my tactic when it comes to making money in GTA, and honestly, it's really not that hard. So let's go ahead and get into it. <music> So one of the first things you're definitely going to need is you're going to need to be a CEO and you're also going to need to be able to have motorcycle properties. If you're starting from the CEO side, you want to go ahead and get into your computer and don't worry about getting special cargo. This will never make you as much money as you think it will. You need to go to vehicle cargo, make sure that you have a map picked out that's actually going to have a decent amount of cars that you can fit in here. And one of the best things that you can do, and this is the need, you need to be able to do this, have 10 low range cars and 10 mid-range cars in your garage at all times. At this point, you will be able to steal high-end cars every single time. I currently don't have low-end and medium vehicle cars in my garage because I sold them all. So let's see, we're gonna source a vehicle and see what it pops up. Unfortunately for me, I'm gonna be getting a standard range vehicle, which I'm gonna go ahead and get it anyway because I need to get it in my garage to fill it up. So let's just go ahead and steal that real quick. Although it's not absolutely necessary, having an oppressor or a buzzard can make this significantly faster and a whole lot easier. You'll be able to travel from area to area quickly and not have to worry about wasting any time. All right, now that we've successfully delivered our car, we can go ahead and grab the oppressor or the buzzard that I just told you about, and this is what you're going to do. Well, one thing that's a huge waste of time is definitely getting your vehicle impounded, so don't do that. Now that that's done, go to Securo, serve CEO, go to VIP work, and let's do Sightseer. Immediately get that started. Now with Sightseer, they will have you open up a Sightseer app on your phone, and you'll do these little puzzles here and there, and once you complete the puzzle, it will send you to a location to pick up the box. After four boxes, you'll get about 20-ish eh, thousand dollars. Then we move on to the next way to earn money. Now, out of the two VIP jobs that you have to do, which would be Sightseer and Headhunter, Sightseer definitely takes the longest amount of time, which could lower the amount of money that you could make, but only by a few thousand dollars. So essentially, it becomes negligible. And just like that, we've quickly earned $23,000. Now, the next step is to go to your garage, and we're going to sell a high-end vehicle. Now, honestly, selling the car is probably one of the easier things that you can do. All we needed to go is to get a high range vehicle, let's see, top range, and just sell it. That's all we really have to do. Always go to a specialist dealer. You will net the most. Yes, you have to pay $20,000, but the commission is 100 grand, which will net you 80 grand total. Now we just sell the car and then we move on to the next step on how to no make you rich in Grand Theft Auto. Deal. Oh, by the way, try not to damage the vehicle too much. It will cost you in the end. Now that we've delivered the car, go ahead and grab your buzzard or your oppressor. And we're going to start another CEO mission called Headhunter. This one's relatively quick. It doesn't take as long as Sightseer. So with Headhunter, you typically want to have it done in Los Santos, but apparently I'm not in that area and it sent me to, it sent me to the whole Sandy Shores North area. So with Los Santos, you're typically going to have your people closer together. It, it allows you to cluster them and get them killed faster. But the point of Headhunter is there are four targets you must kill those four targets. Again, if you get it done in the shortest amount of time possible, you'll maximize on your income, which is typically $23,000 apparently. So as of right now, we've already raised about $103,000. And while that doesn't seem like a whole lot right now, take into consideration we haven't done any of the motorcycle stuff yet. So wait till we get to selling motorcycle product and I will show you a way to do it by yourself the fastest and safest way so that you can maximize your profits. Now, when it comes to these moving targets right here, literally the best thing that you can do is shoot them twice. After that, the guy will just walk right out and then you shoot him. If you shoot him more than once, you're going to waste a bunch of missiles because it actually takes a long time for those vehicles to blow up. So just shoot him twice, wait for him to get out, shoot a third time, you're done. Move on to the next target. Remember, the goal is to maximize as much money as we can in the shortest amount of time possible so you can continue to repeat the process. And while repeating that process, you will maximize on your profits. And just like that, we got another $22,000. The next goal is to go ahead and retire from CEO and go ahead and move over to your motorcycle club. The three top things that you want to own are a meth lab, a cocaine lab, and money laundering. With those three, you're going to rotate between them to sell product. It is best practice to go ahead and purchase resupply stuff. Yes, it looks like you're spending a lot of money, but it's okay. Now, one of the best practices to do is when you go to your product, a bar slightly above one bar out of the five is great because it will only take one vehicle to sell your product. Now, I don't quite have one bar right at the moment, 
But just to prove a point, I'm going to go ahead and sell stock, and we're going to sell it at the Los Santos location, because look, you get an extra 50% on top of what you make. Plus, with people in the lobby, you will gain a percentage bonus on top of that. And anytime you get a motorcycle product sell, you already know you're going to have a good time. These things are the easiest. It makes it a lot easier to work in the game whenever you don't have someone modding and messing it up. Okay, now that the modder left the game, we can continue on. He shaved about two minutes off of our time. But if you think about it, we're going to make over, what, 60 grand? And it only took a few minutes to do it? That's the point that we're trying to make. Make as much money as fast as you can so that you can repeat the process to continue making money. And with that sale, we got another 73,000 on top of that, minus the 44,000 that we spent, or 45,000 that we spent to go ahead and resupply. So that's a profit of about $30,000. And now with you being part of the motorcycle club, you can go ahead and have your oppressor come right to you without you having to call your mechanic so that you can head back to the next thing, which is going to be money laundering. Also, another general rule of thumb is every time a business battle pops up, go ahead and do it. For the fact that your business battle is going to be if you own the nightclub, it'll get product into your nightclub faster. Because remember, passive income with a nightclub is amazing. You don't have to work for it. Money just goes in there. But if you have a business battle, it helps. So what we're going to do is we're going to take care of this business battle real quick, drop off the product, and then go back to the money laundering. Now the best part about this business battle is the fact that nobody else is participating in it, which means all the money and profits go straight to me. Well that's an easy little chunk of change that we have added to us for the business battle. An extra $22,000, not only that, but product has been delivered, which increases the amount of product that I have at the nightclub. So when it comes time to sell, I'll have a pretty good chunk of change heading my way, and it's all passive income. It's all being made while I'm doing other businesses. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and go back to our money laundering and go ahead and make a sale there too. So inside my money laundering business, as you can see, I have just over a little over one bar of product, which is perfect. It's exactly what we need because we can maximize our profits on that. So once again, we're going to head and resupply, buy our supplies for 45, sell our stock for 82 plus whoever's in the lobby as a bonus. So you might be asking yourself, why am I purchasing supplies instead of just going out and getting them for free? What I'm doing is buying time. You are wasting your time whenever it comes to going out and getting supplies for free, fighting bikers and getting all of your products so that you can continue you making money and in that time you could have done sightseer headhunter sold a car sold a car you could have done anything else that could be making you money so in that process you're actually going to be making money because you're buying time and just like that we've added another ninety four thousand dollars to the profits that we're making today so once again we're going to get the oppressor and we're going to go ahead and head over to our cocaine lab now Honestly, the most time-consuming thing about all of this is just traveling to the destination so that you can go ahead and start your selling process. But at least we finally arrived. It only took about two minutes. Now here's what's going to suck for me. I have a lot of product here with the cocaine factory. Spending $75,000 is not a whole lot. And if I sell, I'll have $315,000 plus whatever's left over. Here's the downside. When you have this much product, you can have between two and three vehicles. If you're lucky, you'll have one vehicle. But you can have between two and three vehicles and anybody can come over there and try to steal your stuff or blow it up. You can have anybody come over here and try to blow up your product, which will net you less. But just for shits and giggles, we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Because sometimes you can get lucky and instead of having to do the trash master or the post-op bands, you can have helicopters like I have over here. Helicopters make this a hell of a lot easier. Pun completely intended because it's a lot faster transport. Now, if you look at the bottom right of my screen, you can see that I have 15 deliveries. That means I've got three helicopters. Those three helicopters, if I deliver all the product, I'll probably get about $350,000 from this sale. But instead of having you watch all the boring flying that I'm about to do, I'm just going to go ahead and let you see the profits. Well, we seem to have had some asshole try blowing up the product, and his name happens to be, uh, let's see, right there at the bottom, ABC Rough Rough. So feel free to send him a message, or, yeah, I don't know, feel free to also try to get him banned. Well, at least you sold some of that product. Well, uh, that's what happens whenever you have an asshole that just account. is uh, dead set on blowing your shit up. I didn't make the full profit, but I understood what the game was, and I knew that I could potentially lose product. So all in all, whenever it comes to making money in Grand Theft Auto, it doesn't have to be difficult. All you need to do is 
follow this pattern. Steal a high-end vehicle, do headhunter, sell the high-end vehicle, do sightseer, switch over to your motorcycle club and sell product for all of the businesses that you own, which you only need about three. Then you can also sell your product for a nightclub if you have one and just repeat this process over and over. You'll continually make a pretty good amount of money really quickly and that's how you rack things up. It just takes time, just get it done, easy. Make sure you drop a like for the video and subscribe if you liked it. If it helped you out, let me know in the comment section down below what works for you. This is the method that works for me and it gets me millions of dollars every few hours on the game which is not too bad especially if you have less people in here to screw you up then you can keep moving forward anyway guys i love you i'll see you next time